there is their new cage. They have a water bottle here, which they don't actually ever use. And they've got a hide there. We have one there. You probably won't be able to see it. Let's see if I can turn this on. Get a focus. There we go. So there's one there. Uh, let's turn that off. So we've got one there. We have one in the bushes. There, you can just about see it. There you go. They've been up on somewhere else. Um, there's a burrow down here. If I use my torch again. There's a burrow there. So what you may find with red apple crabs is they quite they like deep soil. So they will borrow loads of little tunnels throughout the tank. They haven't borrowed it, borrowed in this yet, as I haven't really done much to the tank to give them that many borrow uh, we have a hole here it's an observation just so i can see who's going in and out obviously live plants to keep humidity in i do have a golden gecko in here as well um and he's at the back there the crabs don't they don't really uh bother him and he doesn't bother them so it's kind of an ideal setup so they're still getting fed on a terrapin diet, which I find is extremely helpful because they eat it, I can just throw the mess away the next day. There's some mealworms there for the gecko, but the crabs do eat them as well. They also eat the gecko's uh, fruit uh, diet as well, which is handy too. So I'm not having to feed them that much. I've set it really warm in here now, so it's like a tropical environment. There we go, it's a nice bit of live plants. Looks so healthy in here. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's a tropical environment. Um, the heat perch at the top there is here in 106. Um, I do find, <laughs> funny enough, I do find that the crabs will walk all the way up to the top feeding bowl there at the back there's another one in the back of the bush up to the top they help themselves to the food there they walk across here they sit on their on the heat side when they're too hot they come back down they have some weird personalities one of them will hide all day long which is that one there i don't know no you can't really see it's run away again has some weird personalities. Uh, let's see if we can get this one. Uh, wrong way. Come on. Come down. There we go. There's one there. Let's get a better torch on it. There we go. Oh, there we go. We can see the other one there as well. It's hiding in the background. Um, this one's just been in the bushes. It's been in the water. The water needs to be emptied today. Um, when you've got these uh, crabs, you want, really want to give them high humidity. I know their soil is very humid anyway. When they create their burrows, it's easier, easier for them to uh, shed their exoskeleton. Um, you also have to be careful of how many you got, what sex they are. They're two males. They will fight constantly. If it's a male and a female, the males pick on the female. Um, so if you do breed them, I have two females, they're not in here, these are all males. I keep the females away from the males until it's breeding time, and then they go into their own environment, which I will do that, uh, well I'll do a video on the females shortly. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if I showed you what I was feeding them last time. So we'll just go rest the phone here for a second. So at the moment they are getting a terrapin food. 
uh, which has got like prawns and gillamimas. Do you want it? Want it? No, 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 it doesn't want to hungry. Should I want it? No, doesn't want it. And the other males at the back there, like fending its territory. Let's see if we can get. There you go, mate. Um. So yes, yeah, so at the moment they're on a. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Might go for the food. I think the other one's interested. Um, the other one's in its burrow. I could just about see it. Um, so yeah. Um, so they're on this sort of food at the moment. Uh, I just add a bit of water to it, and they pretty much eat it all day long. They also eat the gecko food, and they also eat the millworms and any other live insect that gets thrown in here. Um, so they're pretty, they're really easy to keep. Um, I see a lot of people buying them and they have no idea what to do with them. They're, they're expensive, blah, 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 blah. They're really cheap to buy, extremely cheap to house. And they're literally one of those pets where you can just leave, feed them every now and again, leave and they're fine you can also keep them humid the humidity high keep a temperature in there to keep it high um, there's not a lot of information on these guys at the moment so if you do buy them make sure you give a good reading or get a good reading into what they're like personality is all different males you know, are just a pain because they make this horrible rattling sound when they're agitated uh, which I will do a video on that as well. There you go. I'll just shut the door and one male's being aggressive towards the other. Let's see if I can. Oh, let's run back now. Um, they will build like hundreds of different holes everywhere as well. So, yes, so that is my update. Uh, any more questions or any questions, and I will fulfill them in. Thank you very much.